Welcome to Straw Family Farm. This is Christy and RJ, where are you at? Right here. There you go over there. You gonna come sit for a minute? Talk to us. All right, so we're gonna start right into the, in the barn stalls. As you can see, RJ has a very swollen face. We'll explain that here in a minute. Uh, for I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. And obviously you guys can tell why we're using that Bible verse today. So RJ may wander away and come in and come out. And there's a reason for that too. Not that I can get my computer to do what I want it to do. Okay, so in the barn stalls, I took a little clip, didn't I? We're munching on popcorn. Or I'm munching on popcorn. He's trying to munch. And I have my green tea too. So, all right. Normally at this point I'd ask him to explain, but kind of hard to talk. Mm -hmm. And in case you couldn't hear that or make that out, he says it's kind of hard to talk. All right, so in the barn stalls, we're getting ready to podcast. This is actually gathering up take two. Um, Melody has decided to go into labor. We don't think it's a little early because we had a little instance where a ram escaped. So we don't foresee any dangers or any complications. She, she's lamb before. Um, anything else I need to know? She's a Dorset. Yeah. She's a Dorset. Um, yeah. So she's looking. She's really agitated. She's been rubbing. She's rubbed her wool or her fleece off of her neck. She's rubbed other places, correct? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, but today hasn't gone anything like we thought it would. All right, anything else in the barn stalls? You can just nod if you want. Mm -mm. All right. Hmm. We've been roping on star. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Star has been going to ropings, to team ropings, correct? Mm -hmm. Healing. Yeah. Has she been doing? <laughs> really good. She's brought home a paycheck or two. I, I haven't entered on that. I've just been. Oh, okay. I thought you entered. Well, that one. No, I just finished like taking her in practice. Oh, okay. Connect. Okay. So. She's. Oh good. yeah, that, you're right. I did that one little green horse show on check open. Mm-hmm. One bill. So she's won a little check and she's been going to practices and all that good stuff, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Anything else? The goose is laying eggs. She's sitting on them and then she wait, gets cold and she gets up and leaves them. So, yeah. <laughs> We don't think we're going to have any babies out of her if she won't keep her butt on them. So, I don't know. Um, chickens have started laying again, on and off. Because first it gets hot, then it gets cold, then it gets hot, and then it gets cold. So, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't think there's anything else. I really don't. Um... From the yarn farm, I did Wamego. I think I podcast in between there. Showed y'all what I got. Uh, I've been working on the Pygora. I don't have a whole lot of spun because I haven't had a whole lot of time. And I've been trying to um, finish that brown stuff. That's really not this section, but anyway. Uh, tomorrow we've got a meeting with Discover Oklahoma. So we'll see how that goes. Um, right? We're going to have a list of questions to ask her so that RJ doesn't forget anything and so that he can uh, okay. All right. okay. Sorry, I have my phone hooked to the thing so I can transfer files and now it's doing all this other stuff. Okay, 
We have to stop. This is why I hate having. Oh man. We're still no, we're not. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't do what there it's supposed to do. Now it's probably froze. Okay. All right. I'll take care of that here in a minute. Okay. Where were we? Yarn farm. Vicki and the president of Discover Oklahoma are coming here. We'll have a list of stuff for RJ to ask. Mm -hmm. We'll have it all planned out. I have to be at work. And so, um, yeah. There was some confusion about whether it was going to happen right up till today, huh? Yeah. So, um, the meeting's going to take place. We'll let you know how it goes. Uh, anything else in the yarn farm that you can think of business-wise? Mm -hmm. Nope. All right. I think we skipped mending fences. We're all out of order, and I'm sorry. Um, just been clean up, regular maintenance, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing major has happened. Uh, trying to think. It really, it really hasn't been anything terrible, has it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's next? In the field. We're just dumping it in the field. I don't know. It has been too wet. We still have all the construction materials for the tiny house laying in the barn. Nothing's ruining, are they? is it, RJ? Mm -hmm. So, trusses are out there in all the wood. And then once we have a stretched where it's dry up enough and we can get the wood up and then get the tin ordered and then get it up. So we need about four days. Dry already, not gonna rain. Or no precipitation, let's put it that way. So, yeah. When we get that stretch, if I'm not at work, I will get after that, huh? Mm. All right. Pretty much in the garden, the only thing is, is the gourds are dry and still. Um, we didn't do a fall garden. We didn't do a winter garden. It is what it is, huh? Yep. All right. Moving right along to in the farmhouse. Hello. In the farmhouse? Mm-hmm. You're going to talk to him or no? Not really. Okay, so our big thing is, is that RJ ended up in the ER today, correct? Um, he did not look like this when he went to bed. And it was worse. It's actually started to go down just a hair. Um, he had a head cold. We're not sure if that contributed to it. Then his tooth started aching. Well, he couldn't get away because his uncle was out of town. And then the clinic is closed tomorrow. So he couldn't go on Monday. So he had plans to go to the dentist and have his tooth checked out on Tuesday. Well, he came in last night, went to bed. Well, it was or actually early this morning because he had been out roping, correct? It was what, four? Yeah. Three or four. What time did you get in? We'll split the difference to about 3.30. <laughs> um, so he got in, went to bed. He got up, what, at nine? And... He could see his cheek with his eyeball, huh? Mm. Without a mirror. <laughs> Without a mirror, he says. Look at him so that they can see your face. It's this side over here. And you can tell it's all puffy right in there. His lip is puffy, everything. So they put him on. He was on one antibiotic, correct? And now they have given him a antibiotic that has an enhancer in it and another antibiotic in it. So hopefully that will do. And he's not allowed to stop taking it until the dentist tells him to. So Tuesday when he goes, he's got to take those prescriptions and say, this is what they've got me on. But, yep. Not a good deal, is it, son? 
so honestly teeth issues are nothing new to you correct ever since he was a baby and on um, so much medication he's always had teeth issues what were you four when you had your first mouth reconstruction or was it three he's three or four when he had his first dental surgery so and it's not that he doesn't brush so it is what it is right but anyway is there anything else going on I'm taking a transfer at my job so my hours are going to change mm -hmm. which means we should be more consistent correct mm -hmm. um if I get the hours that they're predicting I'll get I'll work a seven to three or a eight to four kind of shift Monday through Friday so I will run the farm Monday through Friday I'll do it in the evening right so yep I'll have normal hours <gasps> but anyway all right anything else going on you can think of we are going to splice in okay we've got to go out and check and this is why we're kind of just hurrying through this um i've got to go out and check melody i have finished my laundry before i go to work i have to go to work at 10 o'clock tonight and i have some video where we we're putting her in the barn she was agitated just trying to get things set up we, the barn was cleaned up it's just i didn't have any pens set up so we put her in our stall which our horse stalls have fronts that can be used for a horse and then we have fronts that can be used for sheep correct mm -hmm. so just a matter of which panel we put up there the horses pretty much stay in with a chain with a rubber thing on it it's just a thing that goes across there just a cord um and then uh the sheep have to have an actual type fence so anyway and your dad went to run to go get a red bulb because we weren't quite ready. Arjun and I had discussed it and thought when was it Rami that escaped, right? Yeah. When Rami escaped, we didn't think that number one, he got anybody. Um, or number two, that the seasonals were, you know, available. So um, we really didn't think we'd have any this early. And we've only got how many breeding sheep? Oh, I'm making a mess. Like seven. Got one cutie. No, we got two cuties. Two, two, cu cuties. two or three cuties. And then the three, three morenos. And two dorsets. And two dorsets. So eight. Yeah. There's seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay. But. Anyway, we don't have a whole lot of them. We've downsized quite a bit. We're not doing 50 head. It's not we as have big. Four lambs from last year. Yeah. So. But all right. Anything else going on? I am going to splice in a little footage. So we will do that at the very end. I'm just not even going to splice it, guys. It'll be on the very end of this. When we say goodbye, keep watching, and you'll get to see. Melody in all of her glory and I'm gonna go out there and we will try to videotape a little bit and pop some pictures. That one has a come on. So just so you know. Yep. This piece of popcorn has a kernel in. He's not eating kernels. No. It doesn't melt in my mouth. Either. There's plenty over here. So, Did all right. Do have kernels in it? Not all of it. All good. So I don't like Colonel Sanders today. I guess that. Well, you don't mix that with that one. That one's nasty. All right. All right, we're going to get off of here. I know it's kind of short to the point. It's the um, quietest I've ever been. It is. It's the quietest. And I'm just rushing through it. Mm -hmm. We didn't even go in order. But I'm going to tack on the few minutes of Melody. we got to get back up there and check her. Lee should be coming in with a light. We gotta throw the rope and get the light over still to have it set up. So 
I might get to see a baby lamb before I go to work today. If not, someone's going to send me pictures, huh? I doubt it. I don't think she's going to have it until tomorrow morning. You think tomorrow morning? Mm-hmm. Why do you say that? Have you been feeding morning and night? Mm-hmm. Then it's a possible night birth. I'm just saying. I just don't see it. I don't know. She's pretty swollen. She's pretty bagged up. I'm kind of hungry. Huh? I'm kind of hungry. I don't know. Hard I have a cheeseburger is all I had. Oh, a and junior three. cheeseburger. I had three scoops of ice cream. Yes, he did. I did manage to eat that. I thought it would freeze his face. <laughs> so The end was a struggle, though. It mm -hmm. really was. All right, we're going to get off here. I'll splice it in, and we'll talk to you guys later. I am sure that we will update you on RJ's progress this, next week. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I have to tell him. Let's tell him. Well, I could wait till next week I get. Well, okay, so I'm going to go learn to throw an axe. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. March 1st, I've been invited to go and learn to throw hatchets, an axe over your head, and these little star discs and knives. Hmm. Just don't mess up and wipe your head when you go up. <laughs> well, I don't think they're as heavy as the axe we use. Oh. So, I think we're good. That one looks like it has a lot of So... Anyway, but I am going to go and um, try and learn to throw things. We oh, added target. Okay. <laughs> added target. So, yep. I think it'll be fun. I don't know if they'll let me videotape or not, but if they do, I will. Video okay. somebody that's really good. Yeah, so that they get the idea of what's going on. Uh, not you, wife can. Mm -hmm the neighbor's car. Well, we'll try. So, anyway, um, it's me and my girlfriends are going. There's at least eight of us, but there should be more, on up to 20. So, anyway, we're doing it as a group thing. Just us getting together and going to whack things with Sharpie objects. All right, we're off of here. I'm going to put in Melody's clip right here. Y'all have a good one. And stay warm. We'll see you later. Bye. There we go. Just dusty in here. Hey, Melody. What are you doing, huh? Our day. Today has not gone anything like we expected, huh? We ended up at the ER. And now what are we doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Melody's about to have a baby. Yep. <laughs> if, her, if we can get some hay in here, which is coming over there. All right, Melody. All right. All right. I know. Just throw it in there. Make sure that you spread it out, kind of. Leave some for her to eat. She's wanting to lay down right now, Lee. So, okay, I didn't say, I didn't mean physically throw it. I meant to go in and, there you go. Give her a spot so she can lay down. She's been rubbing. She's one. Okay. All right. All right. She's really swollen. Leave her that to eat. Just put it on the edge right there. Yeah, just leave that. All right. All right. I know. We noticed her rubbing, but didn't think anything about it. So we put down some hats in the stall. She's throwing a fit. She wants her mom, who's outside and not really ready to give birth. You're all right, girl. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Yes, you want cookies? You want cookies? All right. I already gave her some cookies, so um, she's pooped and done her thing, and she's really agitated. Okay. Okay. I know. Where's RJ at? Okay. Oh, she's stomping. She's a... Okay. You're all right. Yes, baby. You're all right. You're all right. All right. 
Oh. <coughs> yes, I know. <coughs> oh, RJ went to get her some water. Hey, hey, hey. There's some water. Yeah, she's not ready for that. All right. I'm going to get her a <coughs> pan of feed. Just because. <coughs> It'll calm her down a little bit. So, all right. <coughs> So you and I were getting ready to podcast, right? And you can't really talk, can you? All right. So, all right. There's Miss Gabby. Lambing season apparently has begun. Right? There she goes. It'll calm her down a little bit. Have the others been fed? No, okay, if you'll go feed them, they'll calm down. She'll calm down. The whole works will calm down. <laughs> but right now, she's divided off, and she doesn't understand why. RJ, that's kind of a lot. Are you sure? She's okay. All right. All right. Have you? Okay. It's the last trimester, so they've been... Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see how she does. We're not going to stand here for the whole thing. She's very... She's had a couple ladies before. Yeah. We'll probably just give her her privacy, and as long as they're calm. So, uh, she's she's doing okay. So, probably go podcast. I've got to go and get a what? Red bulb. Yep, a red bulb. Why do we have to have a red bulb? Let me ask you that. Huh? Because we don't have one. Okay, but why do we use red and not white with the lambs? Yep. A lamb will look up into the light until it's blinded. If it's red, it won't blind them. So, all right. I'm going to go get stuff done. And this should appear in a podcast at some point. Sorry about the dusty haze. You see everything in these little cameras. So, yep.